I find myself doing a lot of things naked in this house. Hi guys, Jen, for those who don't know, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about living alone. For those who don't know, I am currently living alone. I have my own place and I thought that I would share with you some of the things I've learned as time has gone on and just in case you might be wondering what it's like to live alone, highs and lows, do's and don'ts, pros and cons. I'm gonna share all of them with you today in this video. If you're thinking of getting your own place, this is my, kind of like my go-to. A little bit of advice, a little bit of like an insight into how life is living one. Me, myself and I. Okay, so I feel like my hearing has been heightened since living alone. I feel like I hear so many random things and I'm just like, I find myself talking to myself a lot. Like, I feel like I am going crazy. I'm like, there's no one there. If you want to online shop and you get lots of deliveries and packages, you will miss a lot of them. There will be situations where you cannot answer the doorbell and it is the worst thing when you're at home and someone comes to the door and you can't answer it because you're either in the bathroom or the toilet or just naked and um, you miss your parcel. Run away, run away. being at home and getting those we were here we we missed you um cards i'm just like oh i was just literally in the next room there's no one to split the bills with so for me i live in a two-bedroom apartment so that's meant to be split with two people but i wanted to live alone so i can't share the bills with anyone i literally have to pay two people's bills basically oh, so there's no one to help you set up your ikea furniture you literally have to do all yourself because there's no one else in the house. My apartment does not have a lift so I have to carry everything up the stairs. It can be quite taxing but that's pretty much what I have to deal with. you tend to get carried away with your shopping and your groceries so you might think you're being very healthy by going for all the fruits and vegetables but then you forget that you have to go through all of them within three days you don't have anyone to share them with you it might have been a good idea at the time but not so much when you're having to throw a lot of things that have expired into the bin if I died nobody would know that's a scary thought if I slipped and fell in the bath and just literally cut my head open that could actually happen if I had an accident or was an emergency, no one's gonna know because I'm literally in this place by myself. A lot of accidents happen. I am so accident prone anyway that that could happen. So I have to be like extra, extra careful. As much as there are all the bad stuff and negative stuff about living alone, there are the good stuff as well. Like everything around, everything here is mine. 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 This was one of the things I was looking forward to when I moved in here. I literally had a blank canvas and I was like, I'm gonna do this place up the way I want it. You get to know what you like and what you enjoy and what your style is when you're given that creative freedom. I find myself doing a lot of things naked in this house. I'm not gonna lie to you. for days without actually speaking. You can actually be by yourself and not have to open your mouth the entire time for like two days. I've literally gone like two days without saying a word. tell you about their flatmates or their boyfriends or girlfriends or whoever they live with you don't have that problem the seat is always down there aren't any empty milk bottles in the fridge things go where they're supposed to go I am so over it every time I come home the seats always left up like I'm gonna fall into the toilet like there's clothes everywhere there's plates all over the kitchen all over the sink I'm so tired of it I mean we have a dishwasher why don't you just put it in the dishwasher I am so over this. My boyfriend is so annoying. Girl, you are so lucky that you live alone. You can cook and eat wherever you want. <laughs> what? 
you tend to eat a lot of your food standing up, especially if you have like a open plan kitchen and it's like next to the living room. I tend to eat my food a lot of the time standing up, which is so weird, but it's like, I feel like it tastes better that way. Despite all the good and bad stuff, living alone is pretty much a big decision to make, especially if you're just starting out, if you're quite young. There are ways you can get used to living alone and make the most of it. It's a big step in life. It shows you're trying to get into that adult way of life. I feel, honestly, I might be, I might be 28 years old, but I don't feel like I'm that much of an adult yet. But it's it's a big step because a lot of responsibilities as well. And you have no one telling you what to do. You have no one like sorting out your bills. And you, if you pay rent and mortgage and stuff like that, you have to do all that yourself. But at the same time, it's nice to have that me time, that alone time, that quiet to kind of work on yourself. You get a lot of things done when you're by yourself, as opposed to if you have people around all the time. And yes, living alone does mean that sometimes you will actually feel alone. It can be a very daunting, a very sad feeling. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. You learn to be able to hang out with yourself, as well as manage a home, and get to just know how to run a home. If you're into animals, maybe getting yourself a pet could help as well. They also help you keep a schedule, keep a routine, because they need to be fed, they need to be walked, they need to poo and stuff like that. So that can also make you get into a kind of a routine, a schedule routine. It can also help you get out of your own way of thinking and obviously think about someone else, in this case, the pet. You won't feel lonely or sad because you're having to think about the pet and their needs as well. You can try new things, maybe start learning how to cook because you're at home, you have the kitchen to yourself, you're not stepping on anyone's toes, you're not using anyone's stuff, you have everything to yourself, so you can maybe learn a new skill. Cleaning your place also makes you want to invite people around as well. If with me, if my place isn't tidied, you won't come to my place. Like I just, I don't feel comfortable. So it would make you want to be more sociable and invite more people and just have more social time. Remind yourself to go out. I find that sometimes I get so comfortable being at home, I don't want to go to things. I feel like I need to have that fresh air once in a while. Um, I'm home literally the majority of the time. I tend to get so comfortable being at home because obviously having to get ready and everything, especially when it's quite cold outside, you just want to stay at home and get cuddled up and just watch. TV and watch Netflix and whatever. I try to schedule weekends and be out of my flat because I need to, I need, I need the fresh air. And maybe sometimes in the week as well, maybe for an event or some sort of meeting, I try to get out just so I can, you know, give myself, you know what, you need to keep the blood circulating. You can't always be on the couch 24 seven. Budgeting is a big factor when it comes to living alone because you tend to go crazy in the store because you feel like, well, I'm gonna buy all this for the week. And then sometimes you might not actually go through everything in your in your shopping list. Sometimes you find yourself ordering in and you end up not even eating the food you've already bought. So try to modify your shopping list and try not to buy so much and just keep the non-perishable items on hand. So even if food runs out, you do have something still there like in the cupboards and stuff like that. There will be moments where you're sick and can't get your medication, you've run out of stuff. Make sure you always have stocked up medication, tablets. It's always nice to have these things stocked up, even if you have a lot of them. Make sure you have emergency numbers at hand as well, because if you do slip and fall, you have someone to call, if you can call. And hopefully no one, no one ever has to be in a situation where you can't actually get help. Maybe getting to know your neighbours as well could help as well because they can also help you if you need it. Basically, enjoy this time. It might seem a bit lonely, but you are in charge of that loneliness. Sometimes a lack of communication can get you feeling kind of sad and kind of lonely. So maybe scheduling like a phone call with a friend or maybe a family member or something quite often can kind of get you out of that lonely feeling. You can be alone and not feel lonely, if that makes sense. I mean, I would love when I do get married at some point to have my husband with me and my kids running around, but right now, I love the quiet. I love my stuff. I love having everything the way I want it, no one having to be in the way. Like, it's the best feeling. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really had fun making this. And if you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And um, yeah, because I feel like a lot of people watch and forget to subscribe. So make sure you do. And I will be bringing you more videos like this. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.